everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Maple Lynn Home. Today I'm decorating a Christmas tablescape that I plan on using for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day dinner. If you saw my kitchen and dining decorate with me from a few weeks ago, I had more advent type decor out. So now I'm just transitioning to definite all out Christmas decor. I'm going heavy on the red for this, which is unusual since I don't really use much in the rest of my decor, but I love how festive it all looks in the end. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Amanda, and I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little boys, a two-year-old and a five-year-old. I love sharing all things home decorating and homemaking, and if that is what you like, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I would be so happy to have you join us here. I'm just starting out by doing a little cleaning, wiping down the table, and vacuuming with two small kids. There is no end to the crumbs collecting around the table. Everything I'm using for this tablescape are items that I already owned. I bought nothing new for this. Even the placemats that I'm getting out right now and the napkins that I'll be using we have owned for a while. They were actually gifts that my parents got my husband and I for I think our first or second wedding anniversary. And embarrassingly I have just never used them which is why I'm taking off some stickers here. So I got out my trusty baguette dough bowl here for my centerpiece. If you've been here a while, you know I love using this as my dining table centerpiece. I'm taking the picks that I used for my advent centerpiece from Hobby Lobby and reusing them here as well. There weren't quite enough picks to completely fill the dough bowl, and you'll notice that as I go along. So I did take some old red ball ornaments that we got from Target years and years ago when we bought our first Christmas tree and used them to fill out the rest of the centerpiece. I don't use those ornaments on our trees anymore and I just love using old ornaments in other ways around the house to get the maximum amount of use out of them. I actually used a bunch of the green, gold, and silver ones for my front porch. It was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, this Christmas song. From 
On top of the placemats, I'm using some galvanized metal chargers that I got a couple of years ago, also from Hobby Lobby. And on top of that, I'm just placing a dinner plate and a salad plate, one on top of the other. These are the plates that we use every day. I just don't have the storage for different sets of plates. I've just got the one set, so, you know, sometimes you just got to use what you got. I decided to use the matching napkins that go with the placemats along with these pretty napkin rings. They have a little bit of greenery, some pine cones, some jute. I got them from Hobby Lobby several years ago, I think around the same time that I got the chargers. I love the little bit of greenery to help break up all the red and the jute just kind of gives it a little bit more of a casual vibe instead of an all-out traditional or fancy kind of a look. I'm just taking the folded napkins and then I'm doing another tri-fold and then I'll place them on top of each place setting. I do not know how to do those really cool, elaborate, fancy napkin folding things. I would love to learn how to do that. I should probably invest the time to do that, but nothing too fancy in this house right now. Then I will add some glasses and it'll be all done. all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does so much to support my channel. I just love the festive red look that I came up with and I can't wait to celebrate Christmas here in a few days. Usually I put out two videos a week, but this week and next week I will probably only be uploading one so that I can focus on enjoying the holidays with my family, but I will be back to two videos per week right after the new year. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.